Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I am taking a look at Magia 5, or is it Magia? <clears throat> Not quite sure on the pronunciation, but I, um, I had a few requests to, to t just take a look at uh, Magia. I'll call it Magia. Magia 5. <clears throat> I went ahead and downloaded both the KDE and the XFCE version. The XFCE version is what you're looking at. Uh, I played around with the KDE, but not being a real big KDE fan, um, there was a lack of comfort, I think, within that desktop environment. And so I decided to go ahead and load up XFCE. Now, in both distributions, um, the comments that I'll make uh, really apply to both distributions. One is, when you install, um, the install is not quite as straightforward, especially in the partitioning, um, as um, some of the other distributions that I'm more used to. And I think it's just the fact that I'm not used to it, because I really had no trouble figuring it out. The logic was the same, but the... the uh, the configuration of the install screens are a little bit different. That's number one. Number two, the install takes quite a bit longer than an install that you might be used to with Arch or Ubuntu or Debian. And the reason for that is Magia does a better job, I think, um, identifying your hardware and trying to install the drivers. Uh, it pays special attention to non-free uh, devices. So, for example, my NVIDIA card was configured and set up and ready to go out of the box. I didn't have to do anything. So, if I take a look at uh, NVIDIA, this is what I saw when I booted. I have the 352.79. So, everything is fine as far as NVIDIA and actually it's it's an improvement over some of the other distributions. Number two, Broadcom. My Broadcom driver, well, my Broadcom internal Wi-Fi card was identified um, but the proper drivers were not loaded. So all I had to do was go into the uh, install and remove software and do a search on Broadcom. So for example, um, I'll, and I'll wait for this to finish, if, if you do a, a search for Broadcom, you'll see that um, basically what I did is I installed the most important one is DKMS-Broadcom-WL. Once you install that, it will pull in the correct kernel and other files as needed. So uh, once I did that, um, my Broadcom was identified. And it was configured. All I had to do was reboot, which is standard procedure for most of the Linux distributions. Now, if I go over to my uh, network center, you can see I have a wired device configured and a wireless device configured. If I expand that, it shows the network that I am connected to. Now, here's a couple of issues. One is when I first connected to this network, there were about four or five other networks that I have set up in my house. Um, they all showed, but now they're not. And so they come and go. Sometimes it shows me the full list, sometimes it doesn't. The other thing is, <clears throat> if you look at the uh, network icon up in the system tray, it tells me, if you look, see at the bottom, it says connected link level 0%. So it, it's showing me a really poor signal and yet sometimes it shows 
and the problem is not with the signal it is with Magia. There is some kind of an issue there uh, and it works fantastic but it's just misleading because it'll tell you you have a zero level when in fact it's much higher. Now if I reboot and come back it may show a hundred percent which it did a few times and so that's a little bit of an issue now I know I'm a little late to the party with Magia 5 because they're already working on Magia 6 and so this some of this these issues may be addressed when that distribution is released but I had several requests now I will say that um, I'm not as familiar with the package management for Magia as I am with other distributions. So, for example, with Debian, with Ubuntu, with Arch, um, I am more familiar with the package management. I'm even more familiar with Puppy Linux package management than I am with Magia. It uses RPM. Uh, and so, I... Uh, some, of, some of my uh, frustration, I guess, is dealing with uh, an unknown or uh, an unfamiliar package management system. Now, uh, on the plus side, uh, I am using GUVC View and Simple Screen Recorder. Both were available in the Software Center. So was SM Player. So was OpenShot. Haven't really found any issues with package management as far as software availability. Everything looks good. Everything seems to be available. Um, the whisker menu was configured the way I like it right out of the box with the categories on the left. Um, if you look at the uh, software, the, there are some games. Education is the typical LibreOffice math. Development, database browser, and LibreOffice base. For graphics, um, you've got Blender, GIMP, LibreOffice Draw, so you've got the basics covered. For Internet, uh, Firefox is the default browser, and as you can see, uh, most of your other necessities are covered within um, the Internet category. For Office, it's LibreOffice. LibreOffice Math is also listed under Sciences. For Settings, uh, pretty much everything is covered. This is a typical XFCE install so you can see that most of the uh, uh, settings are the same as you would see under any Linux distribution. For sound and video I uh, installed GUVC View, OpenShot, Simple Screen Recorder and SM Player. Everything else was available out of the box. And as I said for tools you've got a variety of tools. Now one thing I noticed with Magia they provide more tools and utilities to you to help you get your system configured the way you like. Now um, you've got Net Applet, Network Center, Mouse Pad. Okay, so a lot of this is what would normally be listed under accessories in other uh, in other distributions. But everything is here. Uh, I don't see any major issues. Uh, it ran fine, like I say. Oh, and I mentioned that the install took longer. The other nice thing, and it really depends on your point of view, at the end of the install, they give you the option to update your system. Uh, so that when you boot up, you don't have to download 200 or 300 megabytes of data in order to update your system so that you have a choice to do that at the end of the install which does take longer and I elected to do that because I wanted to uh, boot up with the latest uh, configuration so as you can see everything is here no issues Magia of a fine distribution um, if I could get used to the package management um, I, I'm sure I would enjoy it a lot more. So guys, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing. I want to go through the, um, the Welcome Center. So when you boot up, this is what you see. You have Release Notes, Arada, Newcomers, How To. Now that's helpful. It's a little bit of a manual um, 
to help you get through the initial uh, hand-holding, I guess, uh, for someone who has not used it before. Documentation, forums. Uh, let me mention one thing. I signed into the forum to get some information. When you first register in the forum, um, it's they have to uh, approve any posts that you make. So I registered, and then I put up a question, and it said, your your question won't be posted until the uh, administrator approves. So that's fine, and that's standard on a lot of different forums. Uh, but in this case, I had an answer to my question before my question was visible to the the entire population. So what I'm saying is that an administrator or someone within uh, Magia's forum elected to answer my question and help me get my problem resolved even before the question showed up. So that shows an interest and a willingness to help that you don't often see uh, within a Linux community forum. So you've got a wiki, chat room, Bugzilla, community center. You can contribute donations and join us. So you've got Magia Control Center that you can click right from this welcome screen. It tells you what kernel you're running, gives you all of the information as far as your particular system. So as you can see everything is here. It's a very nice welcome screen and you have the option to show it at startup or not show it at startup. So guys, that is it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel. And if you have any questions, shoot them into the comments. And I'll see you soon. Take care.